Since George Russell's disqualification at the Belgian Grand Prix, quite some time has passed, but the debate about it hasn't died down. Why was his car too light? Was it a team error or did it give George a speed advantage? In this video, we will try to figure it out and analyze Mercedes's perspective on this disqualification. Russell's disqualification came as a sad surprise for Mercedes after their fantastic 1-2 finish at Spa. The risk George took by using a one-stop strategy paid off and brought him the win, but not for long. After the weighing, his car was found to be 1.5 kilograms lighter than the minimum allowed weight, leading to the disqualification. From this point, some confusion arises as not everyone understands how the weighing process works. According to the report provided by the FIA, the car weighed exactly 798 kilograms during the initial weighing which is the minimum allowed weight, but after taking fuel samples, the car weighed 1.5 kilograms less. At first glance, it might seem there should be no disqualification, as the race weight of the car with fuel was not below the minimum allowed. However, the regulations clearly state that the car's weight without fuel must not be less than 798 kilograms. Therefore, we immediately discard the possibility of incorrect weighing or higher fuel consumption during the race. Two likely scenarios remain, both placing the blame on the Mercedes team. Either the team miscalculated and the car did not comply with the regulations from the start, or they incorrectly estimated the amount of weight the car would lose during the Grand Prix, and it seems to be the latter. During the traditional race debrief, Mercedes's chief race engineer Andrew Shovlin stated that during the pre-race weighing conducted by the team, the car met all regulations and the weight difference between George's and Lewis's cars was within 500 grams. If we imagine that George's car was exactly 500 grams lighter and Lewis's car showed exactly 798 kilograms at the final weighing, then Russell's car must have lost at least one kilogram relative to his teammate. But where could it have lost this weight? Overall, a car can lose a significant amount of weight for various reasons, and according to Andrew Shovlin, the team is actively looking for the causes of this miscalculation and investigating different components of the car. Right now, we're trying to understand exactly what happened. A lot of that involves us getting the weights of all the different components. The car can lose quite a lot of weight during the race. You get tire wear, plank wear, brake wear, oil consumption. The driver themselves can lose a lot. And in this particular race, George lost quite a bit of weight. George's was the only one that had the problem, and it's because things like the tire wear was much higher. It looks like we lost more material on the plank, We'll collect all that data though and look at how we can refine our processes because clearly we don't want that to happen in the future. Considering that the Mercedes cars were set up similarly, had similar starting weights and fuel levels, the only difference between George and Lewis is the strategy and tire usage. Having run the race with a one-stop strategy and a long second stint on hard tires, Russell's car could have lost up to 375 grams of weight from the tires. Additionally, since there is no cool-down lap at Spa and drivers return to the pits immediately after the race, the driver cannot pick up tire debris from the track to increase the car's weight. All of this, combined with the team's miscalculation, led to the disqualification. But why did this miscalculation happen? It is most likely related to the return to the old car specification after unsuccessful Friday tests and the lack of data on the performance of the hard tires which Mercedes reserved for the race. As for the performance gain from reduced weight, Andrew Shovlin described it as not significant as both Mercedes cars had roughly the same weight at the start of the race. Only towards the end of the Grand Prix could Russell's faster weight loss have cost him a few hundredths of a second per lap, which would not have affected the final result. In conclusion, we have a miscalculation by Mercedes that occurred due to the chaos of practice and insufficient data for analysis. A small but serious mistake that cost the team a deserved 1-2 finish at the Belgian Grand Prix. That's all for today. Subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike if you didn't, and share your thoughts in the comments.